We're going to go without the bugle. Don't have time. Here's the start of the final pick three. Exact and trifecta. $10,000 Philly and Mare final one. Ryan's Angel. Owned by Harold Bowder, Ann Bowen, and Michael Dixon. Driven by Al Jeff Fout. Two Alicia's Tan. Owned by William Mount Pleasant with Dave Hawk. Three is Topaz Sabra, owned by John Burks with Rainsman Michael Wolf. Four, Red Row Main, owned by David Knoll. Dan Ader will be aboard. Number five, Rumble Seat Ronda has been scratched. Six is Look Sinja, owned by Jack Swagler and Arthur Apking with Darren Mauser. Seven is Grand Scooter, owned by Stephen Hettinger with David Miller. Eight, Barb and Paul, owned by Richard Elway with Brad Hanners. And number nine, She's a Prancer, owned by Randall Routon and William Carpenter. Del S. Miller is in the sulky. Scratch the five. Rumble seat. Ronda. Five minutes till Pope. Theo for tonight's ninth race at the gate and moving through the turn. This is the Biomet Ross $10,000 final to series event number five. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing inside five, out for the lead, three, Topaz Sabra. Little skip, but quickly catches stride. There goes Look Sinja to get the early lead. Followed up on the outside by Red Robin and Ryan's Angel in the third, Alicia's Tan fourth. Quickly coming to the outside, Grand Scooter settled down once again, Topaz Sabra. As they move to the quarter mile pole, Barbin Paul is next in the trailer as she's a prancer. They open up here in a smart 28 and 3, racing past the stands. Ryan's Angel brushes to the front. Ryan's Angel a length and a half. Look, Sinja will now take a breather in second. Past the stands, Red Romaine third. Alicia's Tan comes to the outside, Grand Scooter in the right spot. Still very rough. Topaz Sabra, Barb and Paul, Bob Carroll, Ted and Alice are next. And she's a prancer. Trails there at the half mile, Paul. Bouncing right along is Ryan's Angel. They're at the half in 58 and 3. They're out of the turn and down the backstretch. Ryan's Angel, three parts of a length. Here's Alicia's Tan riding up on the outside. She's a little bit rough. In along the rail looks Sinja. Grand Scooter will have to come three deep off cover and is about ready to slingshot from fourth. Barb and Paul is up on the outside. Red Romaine gaining back in the rail. She's a prancer and the trailer off stride. Topaz Sabra moving by three quarters and here comes Grand Scooter with a rush. 128 and one, Grand Scooter fifth, fourth, third, second and she now zooms to come in. Grand Scooter on the outside gets the lead. Grand Scooter quickly draws off by five. Here comes Barb and Paul up on the far outside. She's a prancer, middle of the racetrack, folks. Here is a rocking chair drive for David Miller as Grand Scooter is going to jog in the final. Barb and Paul will be along in second, finishing third, number four, Red Romaine. Here comes the unofficial winner of race number nine. Seven Grand Scooter, rapidly improving three-year-old Brown Philly by Tudor Scooter out of 30 grand. Owned and trained in Adelphi by Stephen Hettinger, given a well-judged drive tonight by Dave Miller, covering that mile in 158 and two to establish a lifetime best. She swept both qualifying legs, jogged in the final, 158 and two. Seven Grand Scooter, the unofficial winner of the Biomet Ross late closing series. Seven eight exact at thirty eight dollars and forty cents. Thirty eight forty. 
the try, 262-20. Post time in 13 minutes at 10.33.